Hey everyone! Mm -hmm. My name is Rebecca Brown, I'm 14 years old. I am 21 years old and I'm a vlogger on YouTube. I have a condition called trichotillomania. It's a very complex hair loss disorder where I tear out my hair strand by strand. I currently have a full head of hair, but in my time I've gone bald multiple times. I'm going to be doing something incredibly personal, so... This yeah. video in particular I made five years ago when I kind of first started talking about the hair, the trichotillomania. I didn't know there were millions of people, it was just me talking about how this condition affected me. I was very alone. I've tried everything and nothing seems to stop it. It just keeps coming back. When I was about 12, 13, my self-confidence just plummeted and I couldn't really talk to counsellors and I wasn't that popular. I didn't have like any big friendship groups. YouTube just appeared in my life. Hello. If it sort of became my counsellor, it became my voice. I think if I didn't have YouTube, if YouTube didn't exist, um, I wouldn't be as confident as I am. It's party! I'm still much better at talking to the camera. It's inanimate, so there's no facial expressions, so I can just sit for half an hour, just pour my heart out, express. It's something about eye contact. There's no eyebrows. Twitter for me is the worst place for mental health because expressing what I want to say in 140 characters is, is impossible and then you're so easily misinterpreted. <sighs> this is probably going to sound a bit bitter but especially on Twitter you can be surrounded by so many people instantly that are having fantastic lives or only tweeting about the great things in their lives and if you're not having a good time or if you're feeling very sad it can be an upsetting place to go to. Look, I've gone for the hair now, look, reached up, haha. -ha. My username is Becky O. That was just a username when I started, whereas now everyone's name is like their brand name. It's their merchandise. It goes on t-shirts and cups, wristbands. That's a big thing. For the moment, this is where I sit. But I am still trying to be personal. So these are all my letters, and they might not look organized, but they're all in certain folders. Someone told me about their story of depression and suicide, and it was 10 pages long, and it was so hard to read through that it took me about a month to reply. It can be quite overwhelming because some of these people can't speak to their parents or their friends, but they can talk to me. Yo, did you just stare at my butt? Dear Mr. Atheist, first of all, let me correct you. If I actually bought all the makeup I've ever had, I'd be spending thousands of dollars a year.